Hi, we launched uh, a few months ago an application called Geomobile for ArcGIS to the uh, Android and Apple stores. Um, we've been extending that framework that we've used for that free application. Um, we, we based it around a, the Flex Viewer for ArcGIS actually, so you can actually drop widgets into the application. So our goal in launching the application was not only to demo ArcGIS Online and how you can actually log into it and see your maps and have tools which you can interact with your maps um, with. Um, we also uh, <coughs> wanted to extend some of the uh, tools that we uh, have been working with in the background. Um, what we've done here is we're focused on editing. So editing we think is a big deal within the mobile world. Not only online editing where people can go out into the field and update features that are in front of them, maybe add new features. Um, so on-site editing, which uh, is something we haven't yet we haven't been able to do obviously in the PC world, um, but also um, offline editing when you actually go into areas where there is no connectivity at all um, and you actually want to do editing in the same way as if you're online um, so both online and offline offline editing now there aren't really any solutions yet out there that enabled you to do this so Ezri are going to launch some towards the end of this year and into next year which um, will be target specific, which will be a platform specific. So some aimed at, I, at Apple, and then there'll be others aimed at Android, etc. What we've been doing here is actually looking at a cross-platform solution. So the application GeoMobile for ArcGIS is a is a flex application. So it allows us to actually run it on multiple devices. So we we take one code base and run it on multiple devices. And those of you familiar with that uh, will know what we're saying. HTML5 is similar technology. So this is an install application. What we've done here is we've actually loaded um, one web map, web map that we've published on ArcGIS Online. This is of Beirut. We've got um, a background and base map and then we've got these feature layers on top. Um, we're only really interested in this demo in, in one feature layer and that's these icons. If I zoom in you'll probably be able to see more easily. So these icons here are the feature layer we're interested in. This is actually an Esri feature layer. It's something that Esri is serving up which allows us to test editing and when we talk about editing we talk about add, delete um, and update. That's uh, that's what we're talking about here. So the focus of this app is is that that, 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 is that feature layer. Let's just do an online demo of, of, of um, this feature layer. So we're going to turn on the edit tool. Um, let's just close that and move that over to there. So these are the features that we can add to the map. Um, there's graffiti, there's 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 uh, sidewalk damage, etc., etc. So let's just start. I kind of like this cool tree one. So let's get the tree one and add that. Where should we put it? Right there. So there it is. And you may not have seen in the corner. My hand was probably over it. Actually, you'll see it now. When I close this, you'll see it. Come on then. Sometimes these are a bit hard to close. You'll see there information about what's what the application is doing it's actually pushing requests to the server to update the server itself so that icon has now been added or that feature I should say has been added to the uh, the server and if you were on a PC and you pulled up this 311 incidents layer you would see this update that we've just done so that's a permanent update um, to that uh, particular service let's now take this offline so let me explain what we're doing here. We've got an option here, an offline window. It allows you to download a TPK. Now, T we won't go into TPKs in this in this video, but a tile package is what we're talking about here. And basically, you can go into ArcMap and you can generate a base map of whatever you want. Um, and that's basically <coughs> um, hard, a hard-coded base map, if you like. So it's not interactive, it's just it's just pictures behind the feature layer, and you'll understand what I'm talking about more in a second. So what we've done in this case is we've generated a, t a TPK of what you were just looking at, and we've taken some of the layers that you're looking at here, changed the color of them, and we've, st and we've generated TPK. By hitting Submit here, not only would, would you download the Beirut TPK, but you would also load the feature layers that we want, we were going to use offline. 
Now we don't need to do that in this case, you only need to do it once. Uh, we've actually already done that, so if, if this was an application you were using or a workflow for somebody who was going out in the field and they were online, more than likely you would need to follow that kind of a workflow where you're going to need to download the TPK, which is the base layer, and then the feature layers on top of that. All of that is stored on the mobile device. Okay, let's just close that. Now then what we're going to do now is we're going to force this offline. So I'm going to go into the settings, I'm going to go into airline mode, um, which is there, and that takes it effectively offline, and let's, let's let me re reload the map. I didn't tap that enough. There we go. I'm hiding so you can't see me. You don't really want to see me. You can see the camera. And we'll just wait. Okay. That was that was because I tapped the button twice. So there, what you've done there, what we've done there is you've actually loaded the map in offline mode. Um, so we've got the green of the features I just mentioned. Those are what we saw in the previous online version. But this, these now form part of the, the TPK. So these, these, and these, and there's actually a, a coastline as well, which you can't see, are part of the TPK. So that's just the base map reference stuff, and it's all tiled, and uh, it forms part of that, that downloaded TPK. The feature layers, which you can see here, are the pieces that um, we have, uh, we want to edit. So we've, we've actually downloaded that as a feature layer on the, on the device itself. Now what I want to do is I want to follow the same workflow. You'll notice we just got rid of the offline piece since we're offline now. We don't need to have that one visible. So let's just do the same thing. Well, I'm going to walk through exactly the same steps. There we go. Um, there's the tree we added before when we were online. Let's now add, what have we not got on here? Um, let's add this sewer one. And I'm going to add that in between these two. And there it is. And there it is. So we've, we've now offline added a feature to this particular feature layer. Let's now go online. So we'll keep track of that new feature that we've added offline. Back to the settings. You're probably going to see me again. Lovely. And this is now online so it's automatically it automatically knows that it's gone back online uh, and the delay here is just the app, the application calling the server and getting back the layers it needs to load uh, um, to to go back online so there we go it takes a second to to to, to go to, to load everything and we can see we're loading the online map here so to the same extent, you can see we've got that base layer. I should mention that we didn't take this to topo base layer offline. There's licensing issues with that. Same with aerial and street uh, street data. You can actually uh, there's no you can sign up with Esri on on getting that stuff, but we we didn't for this demo. So anyway, um, there's there's those the, the the pieces that form the these are feature layers, but these are the pieces that form the, the TPK, and bingo there is our addition. So what happened there is when we went online we actually sent a request to the server automatically to say we've updated this layer and this is the feature that we've added to it um, and now that as, as when we were online has been added and um, the, the server has been updated and again someone on a PC pulling this up separately from this 311 instruments Zoom to Beirut would now see that feature. So there is a very smooth workflow from online to offline and editing. Thanks for watching.